Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now I have been waiting for this one, better part of maybe two days, and it just finally came in. It was a little late today. Uh, it was expected to show up probably in between 12.30 and 4.30, but it ended up showing up late, which is a good thing because I thought it got lost in the mail, and that's not the case, okay? So as you see in this box right here, it is from Amazon. Um, it is most likely the uh, Spirit Halloween version of the ray gun that is used from Killer Clowns. And we're going to look at that and we're going to play with the gun as well. Alright, so we're going to do a review on this particular product. And I'm going to let you know what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And we're going to get right into this right now. And yes, it is the cotton candy gun that I believe Shorty actually uses in the film. It's been a very long time since I've seen the film. Uh, the last time I actually saw it was probably like two years ago. So I don't remember much about the movie except the characters in themselves. And I'm going to show you some of my Funko Pop guy characters as well. Uh, they're based on the killer clowns. Uh, but anyway, as you can see it coming around the corner here, it's a very cool looking gun. I've been wanting to get this for quite a long time, and I was checking out uh, YouTube because I actually put it in my wish list, and I was going to wait. I said, all right, let me just wait a little bit before I actually order it, right. and I come to find out, according to the YouTuber, there's a lot of people actually buying these guns, turn around, putting them on eBay, and selling them for like $100. So I said to myself, if they keep doing this, it's going to create a pattern where everybody's going to start jumping the prices up and you're not going to get them for a reasonable price. At the time I purchased this, it was in fact roughly $30. It is the Spirit Halloween version of the cotton candy gun. I'm sure there are other versions out there. I just don't know if that's the case. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a look at the, um, the box art and everything and then we're going to open it up and kind of play around with it. If it has batteries, if it don't have batteries, um, I don't know because I'm, I think I'm going to have to dig some out somewhere because I just ran out of the um, the trip, no, the double A batteries. It's most likely that's what these things take, but we'll see what happens anyway. So this is the cotton candy gun used in Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I believe the movie came out in 1985. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to shut down the turntable and we're going to look at the box art. All right. Uh, shut off. There you go. Alrighty, hang on. Now I'm gonna push that back. Okay. Now let's get into what it looks like here. All right. That says "Killer Clowns from Outer Space." <laughs> try me. Now it says "Try me," but if you pull the trigger. Unless I got to take it out of the box, but unless there's a special plug or something here. But anyway, let's just look at it. Then we'll eventually open it up. It's very cool looking design. Very colorful. Very cotton candy like. Okay. Most of you uh, who've ever seen the movie know that when they use this gun, they actually uh, use it on humans and they spin them in a cocoon. Cocoon, not cocoon. And they're actually hanging them up on the ceiling. And eventually when they become ripe, they stick this gigantic straw in them. And they suck out their fluids and stuff. Yeah, the killer clowns, they're kind of sick and morbid. Okay. But anyway, let's get further into this. Okay. Now, what does that say? Oh, it says for 14 years and up. Anything younger cannot play with this gun. Okay, guys. All right. And that right there. Focus. All right. Now it does say cotton candy gun. Okay. On the top of the box, it says cotton candy gun. It also says uh, it's with spinning, what did I say, motion, flashing light, and sound. 
Now keep in mind, I just had eye surgery, so I don't see well right now. But it is slowly getting there where I can actually see things again. Uh, according to my doctor, he says it could take up to a year for the retina to fully heal. So it's like, okay, got to wait. So I do struggle sometimes with the real small lettering. So don't mind me on that, okay, guys? All right. Now the bottom of it is just plain old purple. All right. The side of it is cool because it shows you the gun. All right. And here's the back. And it's got all the directions and everything on it. Which I'll show you. Just like so. Safety features, the instructions. Okay. That also says it requires two double A batteries. So I might have to find some in order for this thing to work. So you've seen the actual box art. Here you go. All right, we're going to take it out of its box and set, I'm going to try to find some uh, batteries and we're going to get this thing to actually work. Okay, even if I have to take them out of some of my other stuff, which I'll do if I have to. Okay. All right, so what I'll do is I will be right back. Okay, we're back and I want to show you something before we actually show you the gun. Okay, I was under the impression that it didn't have any batteries in it, but this thing does. It's got a very cool sound to it. I'm going to show you that in a second. But what I want to show you it's sitting across the way here. It is the, my next video. It is, in fact, a skull, but it is based on Ouija boards. And it's got all the Ouija markings and everything, if you can see it. Eventually, I'm going to show you what that's about. Show you the uh, special board markings on it. The moon, the stars, and everything. The alphabet, everything. It's a very cool looking skull. I got it from Amazon.com for like 50 bucks. There are different variations of them, but I chose this one here. It's very cool looking, okay? But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the gun. Let me set that down. Pull it back. Okay, now. <clears throat> let's get into the gun. Now, here's the tip of the gun, okay? All right. Now, it does spin, as you can see. And I'm going to show you how it does that in a second here. By activating it. And pull it in closer. It's got a little speaker so you can hear the sound effects. All right. Now this is from Spirit Halloween. Okay. I've been looking forward to this thing coming in today. And I'm like, yes. But that's what she looks like. It's all made of a hard plastic. Okay. And some of these things light up, which I'll show you here in a second. And that's the top of the gun. I'll show you the handle here. It's got a trigger, as you can see right there. Alright. Handle. It's very colorful. Very cotton candy like. Alright, I'm gonna show you the bottom of it. You can grip this really nice, as you can see. It's really nice. Now what I'm gonna do is actually show you what it does. Okay, ready? I'm gonna squeeze the trigger. That is very cool. Now technically what this gun does, according to the movie, it spins a whip, like I said, and it cocoons the human beings and they literally hang them up on hooks until they ripen and then they stick a gigantic straw into the cotton egg-shaped uh, sack or cocoon and they suck the juices out, the fluids out. absolutely awesome and let me just get a proper grip here and show you what it looks like from the front this is a very cool gun now like I said it's got the speaker here it's made of a plastic so it's durable enough okay even kids can play with this, but eventually I'm sure they would break it. 
both of you collectors out there this one's absolutely perfect um, I should go ahead and do some research on other um, cotton candy guns see what they got out there but this is very cool now I'm gonna show you my Funko Pops here in a second here okay one more time on the triggering okay here we go I love the sound effects on this thing it's very cool now to shut it off as you can see right here it does have a switch okay which I'm gonna shut it off okay now when I squeeze the trigger nothing happens but when I switch it on obviously so keep in mind when you purchase this from Amazon it does come with batteries okay it comes with this little strap which I'm going to show you right here that's what this thing is right here it stops the batteries from connecting so it doesn't drain the battery but once you pull it out of that little slot right there as you can see right here that little slot right there it'll do its thing I'll see now it's off hang on do it again ready now this gun is totally awesome I love this thing all right, so I'm going to shut this off, and I'm going to put that up there. Keep it right there. Now I'm going to show you my Funko Pops, okay? All right, so now, now I don't know the names, because like I said, I haven't seen the movie in a while. I do know Shorty, uh, but I forgot the other ones and their names. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you what they are, okay? So let's start off with Shorty here. These are the Funko Pop versions they first came out on the market about a year and a half ago. Don't mind the air conditioning, okay, guys? But this is Shorty. He's usually the one with the gun, or I've seen him in the movie with the gun. He also comes with, there's an animatronic out there. There's Dark Dimensions Haunted House, I think it is. It's a YouTuber who is big into Halloween. He's hit the conventions. He does all kinds of things. And he purchases... Uh, animatronics well they, they purchased one based on this guy here it's roughly around two hundred and twenty dollars and I believe it's from Spirit Halloween the head does switch back and forth along with the hands moving up and down it's a very cool looking animatronic but it's a bit pricey for what it is but it's very cool looking but anyway he gets he is a huge the whole entire family they're huge into killer clowns okay they got shirts pants keychains you name it they collect it big time which is what I'm thinking about starting to do anyway the masks themselves from trick-or-treat studios those are a bit pricey okay there's a total of three of them right now and I'd like to collect them but they're a little too much uh, money okay but it, this is the Funko Pop version and it also comes with the boxing gloves <laughs> Mm -hmm. these are very colorful too I like them All right. they did have I think they were Comic Con collection uh, versions of it I can't remember but anyway they had them on Big Bad Toy Store but they sold out rather quickly okay and I was going to snag those things up quick but they were gone okay now I can't remember this guy here but Anyone who's, uh, who knows the characters and stuff like that will know what I'm talking about. If you feel like you um, need to let me know the names of these guys, please let me know in the comments, okay? But I'm going to start collecting a little bit on these guys because I think they're very cool. Very, they're very colorful clowns, okay? Uh, there is all kinds of clowns out there, all kinds of clown masks, costumes. But these guys really stand out. As soon as you see them, you automatically know them if you've seen the movie. Okay, And I believe the movie came out in 1985, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, Funko Pop, guys. All right. Hi. Last one, <clears throat> which has the mallet right behind his head. Now, I believe he's probably the biggest one of the bunch, but I could be wrong. Not the super giant one that's in the movie, but he's the biggest one of the standard clowns. Okay. Now, these guys are cool looking. Killer clowns from outer space. I'm sorry I don't know their names. I do apologize about that. 
but I will eventually once I start doing more videos. I'll recognize them quick. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, that's it on my particular collection. I've been waiting for this bad boy to come in, and it finally came in. So, without further ado, I'm going to leave you with this here. Remember, if you want to cocoon any part of your family that you don't really care, uh, just go ahead and get rid of them by using the cotton candy gun. Okay, guys? Use it well. There's an endless supply of cotton candy, okay? Anyway, that is my cotton candy gun along with my Funko Pops, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos, okay? But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good night.